man, you come straight out of a cone. I mean, believe it or not, I've never been with a white woman out in L.A. <laughs> oh, oh, we recording? Not bad. Nah, speak your piece. Speak your piece. Continue. I, I, I didn't know. What What was it about white women? I mean, pink toes. I'm sorry. I gotta be respectful. Mm, the pink people. Remember, you got to. That's that, that's what they are preferred. To I thought we called them that. index cards. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 three by fives. I would, I would love. I Yo, would love three by fives. Yo, <laughs> that's the thick joints. That's the thick ones. <laughs> Feel like yo, that three by five that passed by earlier was bad as fuck. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Ooh, ooh, flat. You got a little thin. red line went across the top. Ooh. <laughs> well, she dangerous, boy. I tried, I tried to go talk to her. I almost got cut. Got cut, boy. I'm like, ooh, got a, got a paper cut out here. <laughs> Oh man, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. It is good to be back. Of course, you know me, I am Will Farrow. I got the fellas here today, young deuces, Dion Lack and Brody the Joker. What's going on, fellas? How y'all living? How y'all feeling? Yo, yo, what's up, Will? How you good, doing, brother? Good. Life is yeah, good, man. man. Yeah, yeah, hey, you got stuff coming up this week. Oh, yeah. Got my office under construction, so I had to come closer. You know, Dion was like, "You need to be closer." I don't like that I could see your thighs. He was like, "I wasn't feeling that. I want. I need. I need. I need chest up." Yeah, I, I see you get excited. Sense. Your toes are doing like this. I'm like, Why <laughs> I could always just put shoes on. That could also be the remedy. <laughs> But, man, we have a lot to talk about on this episode, man. We have uh, a lot of stuff has happened since the last episode. We got Twisted Metal uh, that's dropping up on Peacock. We also have confirmed that Beetlejuice 2 is in the works right now with Michael Keaton returning. Transformers is back with the Beast Wars. We're going to be talking about that, too. Uh, We're also going to be getting into the Writers Guild strike. And what is this going to be doing for cinema, for TV shows? How is it going to impact people? I think this is a dope episode to have just because of the people we have here who are on the ground with all of this stuff. Actors, producers, writers, all of them are right here in this episode. So you get to get a firsthand take on what's really going on here up in Hollywood. And then, of course, we're going to go into a little fan fiction, but we're going to save that for now. Right now, we're going to jump into the hot topic. Hot topic is Twisted Metal, man. Anthony Mackie is starring in <laughs> Twisted Metal, a Peacock series. I'm, uh, I'm confused can so can much. I hate real quick? Can I just hear real quick? Yeah, he's doing well. All right. Oh yeah. Why? I'm not saying it's a bad idea. Like, I think it's a bad idea, bro. He's Let blurry. other actors get these roles, man. Here's, I, I, here's my thing. At some point, there's a caliber of things you don't do, and I have a great I have a great analogy for that. What's the, what's the chick that was in Spider Man that got her head cracked open that didn't make it? What was her What's her name in uh, real life? Oh, uh, gu- um, gu- Emma Stone. Uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma yeah. Stone. Emma Stone did super bad. Funny. It was great for the time that she was doing it. Then she did La La Land and was taken seriously as an actress, but then. What she went and did was Zombie Land too. Now, granted, it didn't affect her, but it's one of those things of like some of this stuff you leave to other people, and that's but what yeah. Anthony Mackie is doing with Twisted Metal. But no, I, I mean, it, it's, I think she wasn't she wasn't on fire then. I think when she became respected is when she was on like La La Land. Like that's when she became that's like what a, I just a, said. <laughs> I, I thought you said Zombie Land. Yeah, no, I, I said admission. And then she went did Zombie Land you know, too. You know what I do? Oh. That's my role. I'm that's supposed funny. to repeat it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I heard land. They both got land in it, man. Let me live. <laughs> that's okay. I'll give you that. No, I'll give you that. Now that that was that's that is a great reason. But um, uh, I yeah, believe but- that it's a passion project. You got to think, man. He a blurred. He talks about playing PlayStation heavily. Like you got to think at some point, if something come across your uh, your your palette, whether it is like amazingly good on a Marvel level or not, he probably still wanted to do it just off the strength of like, yo, I love Twisted Metal, bro. But also, he did. We have a ghost. He did do that. <laughs> And, it, you know, <laughs> and he did do Black Mirror where he was uh fucking his homeboy yeah. in a video game. 
<laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, you know, he wasn't there yet. I. I, I mean, he was still uh, Captain America's sidekick. Well, you I know mean, that's what? How I say Captain America. You know. But the interesting thing is, though, you do these types of projects after you've done like, like, well, I guess you're saying because he's done such major stuff, why would he do this kind of like in your mind? I guess like a B C list type of movie, right? Or or project. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, but, you got. You, I think that like it honestly makes it, it kind of gets more publicity because everyone like us is talking about like, yo, yeah. why would Anthony Mackie do that? It's like yeah. like if Leonardo DiCaprio came out and said, yo, I'm going to do a, a, the next season of, of, of Bad, Bad Boys Club. You'd be like, wait a second. Like everyone <laughs> yeah, just freezes. Yeah. Hold on, what dope you- is Leonardo <laughs> on right now? You know, because Twisted Metal with, with no name, with no name attached to Twisted Metal. It's like, oh, wow. I mean, they made a twisted metal movie, and then it's going to be some unknown actor, and then it gives us less interest. Now that there's Anthony Mackie, it's like, okay, I got to see what this nigga's doing. And not, right. not only Anthony Mackie, but Will Arnett and Rhett Reese as well. So that's got to see what they. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, is, you know, but but the the, 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 the other game, Grand Tor- Torisho, wherever Torismo, Torismo, Torismo. Torismo. Let, me, let me live. I, don't, I never knew how to say that. You had the uh, Japanese version. <laughs> Grand Torizo, nigga. Let me live. Uh, but they don't. They. Don't, I mean, they have. They have Desamon in there, but I don't know. Any, I don't know any other actors in it. So I think it would do well just by the name. Yeah, see, and that's also, how I feel. That's how I feel about with Twisted Metal. Like I think the name and based off where it's from, you would still go check it out anyway, just because with Twisted Metal is the iconic characters. Like you get to see Sweet Tooth. We like who's gonna play Axel. And stuff like that. It's like those are the things you kind of look forward to. Well, yes and no, because so with with Twisted Metal, what I want is I want the fourth act of Transformers throughout this whole series. I don't care for any story or dialogue. I just want chaos. It's Twisted Metal. I need to see cars yes. getting fucked up. I don't, yeah. That's all I want to see. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. But I like that this is a comedy series because that mm-hmm. means that. Anthony Mackie, if it's comedy, his comedy needs to come from his reaction to what the fuck's going on. I, I need him to be driving and when he sees Sweet Tooth, because Sweet Tooth is not your average clown. And I need Anthony no. Mackie to react like a black man seeing a fucking vicious clown driving a car that's trying to run him off a the road. Truck. A ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, I need I need him to react like how a, a true black man would react to that. Like, oh shit, what the fuck? Like, I, I, I need that style of comedy and just a whole lot of action. That's all I need. So, okay, okay, so so are we, let's just confirm because we do got to keep moving to the different topics of, are you going to check out Twisted Metal when it comes? Of course. Based off of the, the the little preview that they gave us, and Anthony Mackie has it sold you yet, or are you still on the fence about it? Deuce, how you feeling? I am on the fence about it, but because I am currently rewatching The Office in tangent with The Office Ladies podcast to get like the behind the scenes, I have mm-hmm. I am subscribed to Peacock. So because of that, I'm going to watch it because I have access to it. If I didn't have Peacock, I would not watch it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, don't, I, feel I, don't, that. I don't have Peacock, but I have uh, this where you blur out my 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 source. I have a very illegal website <laughs> that I watch all my streaming services from. Why, <laughs> and, why, why could you just say I have my ways of being able to watch this? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> went why? full gunner. He went full gunner. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then you're going to leave it up to me to remember the time to go edit this out. Now I got to listen to it to see where you said this to bleep it out. Well, well, the thing is, I didn't want this like, what do you mean, man? Just say it. Like, we, you know, I didn't want that to happen. To we, keep all back we all got it. No, you we know. all got it. What you were we saying. We have man. our illegal websites. And he did um, it again. I'm sorry. He mimed it. He mimed it. Right. <laughs> That was very op like of you, and you dress like an op right now. As you said, <laughs> say hey guys, you guys got any <laughs> marijuana? Yeah. <laughs> Be like, yeah, as we were saying, illegal websites. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my glasses straight for the camera. Oh, man. Yeah, that's funny. But, shit. Um, but uh, Brody, uh, but but as you were saying, Dion, like, um, are you in? Or are you still on the fence about it? If it pops up. Cause my my web my source, um, it pops. 
when it comes on, it shows all the best, the, the most streamed <laughs> movies and TV shows. Oh, it's on right now. And I click on it like that. So yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so so the cover itself and just like, okay, I'll check this out. Yeah. yeah. Brody, what so about are you? you? Are you... <clears throat> um, like Dion, I also have a source uh, I, that, that is similar to Peacock. It's it's more of a free cock, which doesn't sound good. Ah! Now that I I should have, sometimes I should really have somebody kind of just read through my script before I say things. Um, <laughs> hey, it's a writing strike. See, that's what that's the issue. You ain't had a, it's a writing strike. strike. That's what that was. I should have chat GPT just my answer was right now. Let me let me chat GPT something real quick, <laughs> Bro, Brody. I don't I don't know what you want to do with that, but you need to go get that website right now. I don't know what you could turn. You know what you could turn it into. Hello. I'm just let, I'm just letting you know. When I hear, I'm pretty up, sure that that every spelling of that already exists. I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure that that's already taken. Right now. now, as far as now as far as doing a sketch with the logo and, and having like the, the peacock logo with but with the with the balls out, I think that could be a funny thing. Yeah, coming up on you know coming Yo. up on free cock. Hold on, hold on, Brody. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. You know how the peacock. Yeah. <laughs> you know how the peacock has those little right right so it'd be a it'd be a man on his back and his balls is several balls up like <laughs> what? What? No, it's like it's like boom 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 <laughs> oh, it, it'll be just one one lump look boom 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 <laughs> boom 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 <laughs> And it just shake just a little bit. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said this on Zoom with the homies. I said, Dion sees the line and sprints past it. <laughs> that is that is Dion's brand. He said, what line? <laughs> Trust me, I'm I'm already there. I'm like, oh, finally somebody showed up. Yeah. I've, been, I've been here by myself. Hey, man. Look no Yo, further. You'd have found your tag team partner. I'll take a look at it, man, for the free, though. You know, for the free, I'll take a look at it. I wouldn't I wouldn't pay no money. I actually do have Peacock. So, I mean, but nonetheless, it's one of those ones like hey, uh, it's on right now. Let me let me put it on. You know, let me just let me while I'm doing something. It's a it's a while I'm doing something else type of show. Well, I'm kind of like. Hey. Yeah, it definitely does not. It didn't need a trailer. I would I will. I won't lie. It definitely has that. I'm scrolling through the streaming service and it's like, oh shit, Twisted Metal got a show? Oh, let me check it out. And is Anthony Mackie? Let me check yeah. it out. That's, but I will argue though, in the, in the form of, of what's going on, what they're seeing, I mean, come on, man. I, I already see the wave. Video game, like Marvel's going to slow down and the video game wave's about to come. We're right in the middle of it, man. Oh. After the success oh, yeah. of Super Mario Brothers, it's like, they're going to, you're going to see a, vi you're going to see a, a video game of, of, I wouldn't be sorry, but they make a, a live action paper boy, you know? No, you we gonna get hey. Glover. Watch. We gonna get we Glover. Gonna, we we gonna get all the games. We gonna get Contra. We gonna get Paperboy. We gonna hey, hell. They might get Double go Dragon. Dragon. They already had Double Paper, Dragon. We already had Double Paperboy Dragon. Paperboy would be fire. Paperboy would be a fire. Uh, Paperboy would be. Paperboy. Imagine would be a fire. dramatic. Imagine in a in a in a, in a suburban yeah. neighborhood. <laughs> Hello, newspaper boy. Yeah. yeah. I need one. That's a lot of. You, it's the major about to hit you. People are throwing out shit. Yep. He's got to get through a BLM protest. He's like, but I just got to get the paper to everybody. Nigga, we don't read papers no more. <laughs> well, it has to be a time period, right? It got to be a time period. This is why they won't come fix y'all streets. And it got holes in it and little ramps I got to jump over. Because of this attitude. That's why. Hey, paper boy. He got a controversy. He threw the paper and accidentally hit a black person. So now it's like, oh, you racist? You yeah. people with paper now, bro? Uh, <laughs> get him. <laughs> Cut him off a cop. He's like, I'm black. You white. Now I'm red all over. <laughs> Not the spoken word. <laughs> hey, yo. That motherfucker be trying to chase from a dog, and that's the running joke. He'd be like, get off of me. No, he ain't beating on that black dog like that. I told you he ain't shit. He Boom ain't to the shit. paper boy. <laughs> if you want to be a newsman, you're going to have to deliver all these papers. Yeah, what was his thing? But It would have to be like, if you don't get these papers by the end of the day, you're, we're going to take your grandmother's house. It had to be something. It got to be. The stakes got to be high. 
be hot. It's not, yeah, it got yeah, it got it got to be one of those like if it's a kid type film, it got to be like a grand prize or something like that. Yeah, or it's a mom and pop, or it's a mom and pop publishing company that's going to close down if, if they can't get a new spark in the in the papers, and they're like, yo, that that, or maybe it's like Zac Efron, they get some super handsome dude to play the paper boy, and I was like, did you see the paper boy in town? He's fucking all the moms in the suburban neighborhood. <laughs> Dark ass. Like why is it dark? Why? Why is it so dark? He's seen like Fast and Furious, where he pulls up on his bike. He looks at the guy. <laughs> he's like, it's like it's like this. <laughs> right. Yeah. I do. It's like I do. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, and do a little man. zoom in on the on the clutches, the gas, the knobs. <laughs> 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 and it's just going to regular space. Oh, <laughs> they're like, they're like with music from Paperboy from Atlanta. Oh man! And of course, Kid Cudi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right, all right. Let's keep let's keep it moving forward though, because we do got a few. We got to make that. I feel like we got to make that sketch low key. Damn, though. You know what's wild, yeah. Brody? Damn, I feel bad. The whole time you said Paperboy, I was picturing Excite Bike. Which no. Is wild. In my head, like we can create the whole boards. And I was like, wait a second. No, no, no. Excite Bike. Excite Bike still can work. Excite Bike could work as another franchise. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but but I was pitching the character in my head, like, man, they can take their own boards. And I was like, wait a uh, second. That's a whole different thing. Yeah, well, paperboard. I, really, I remember why it was thrown on paper. I remember mm -hmm. it well, wasn't even about the have... papers, it was just it was just about surviving. It, it was... That was it. It was really just about surviving. It's just about surviving. Paper. Yeah. Yeah, but we gonna save that for another episode. Yeah, all these Nintendo games that could get turned into movies. Oh yeah, we definitely bring, we we bringing that back. Yeah, yep. we bringing that back. But um, so there's been some rumors circulating um in the Marvel world of about the Fantastic Four. Apparently, the Fantastic Four has been cast and will Ooh. be announced within the next coming two months. Wow. Uh, one of the rumors <laughs> is that uh Margot Robbie has been offered the role of Sue Storm. You call her Margot? Did you do that intentionally? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That threw me off because you said it so clean. I was like, wait a minute. I, this is my first time noticing that he says Margot? <laughs> He's out here saying Gal Gadot, you know? <laughs> yep. I really Margot. do. And it was like, Margot. Yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, she has been offered the role of Sue Storm, but they have been keeping Human Torch and Mr. Fantastic very much under wraps. But they uh, apparently... Those two uh, have been cast, and supposedly the the twist that's been going on is Mila Kunis is also the thing, being right? Considered, being considered as the thing. Now, now here's my thing, though. <laughs> hey, I could see that working. Pun intended. Pun so, intended. I want to hear how you can see it working, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't see it working. And there's nothing against Mila Kunis at all. Uh, the reason why, because one, I already know that she's accustomed to doing voice acting, but mm -hmm. also another reason why I could see it working is because of Bradley Cooper with Rocket. Like, unless you know Bradley Cooper to the distinction, you True. wouldn't know that's Bradley Cooper talking as Rocket. So there's no telling what they, they can do to her voice for it. Now, do I think it's necessary? No. And I don't think it should be the first or second choice they should go with. Okay. Right, I think that they're trying to do two girls, two boys. Oh, that I can see. I that. see that. I see that. So the reason here, here's my thing, and it's it's not again. It, to me, it's not against Mila Kunis or even women portraying this role. It's whoever can do the best Brooklyn, New Jersey accent. And I don't believe Mila Kunis has that in her because when I think of the thing, I think of it's clobbering time. Yo, I'm out here. I'm working. Like I think of like. Hold that. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, 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 we've seen we've seen Mila do that like in Bad Moms and stuff like that. Uh, what it was date night? Like when she get when she getting out when she gets rambunctious and stuff like that. She got the capability of doing it, but I get I'm what you say like the heart. Hard... Yeah, but I get what you're saying from that hard Brooklyn, like, or yeah. Jersey type of guy and stuff. There's a type of tone to it. I also <laughs> thought, though, they keep putting it to that. I kind of saw her going in the human torch route. I would not mind seeing a female human torch. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that's because I mean, she's going to be naked or something? Is that is that why? She's like, no, on. no, no. No, no. <laughs> First of all, she has a suit. They already she has a suit with... on, so we they already know they got the suit last time, right? And we well, already I know think... she wears a suit when they flame on. So, 
Flame now, here's an interesting point. Now, it might not be a popular opinion, but I think that it could be interesting. It, maybe it's a very progressive uh, the thing. You know, maybe she's going through um, an operation, you know, and it's and, and so because, you know, the thing hates being called the thing. He All does? right. So it's he like does? a play on. They're like, yeah, what's that thing over there? I'm trans. You know what I mean? They're like, no, oh, boy. Thing, and then now it's the thing. No, I'm saying it's a stretch, but it's the way Hollywood be working now. Brody, and they're like, Brody. you know, they're making this. Brody, I got to tell you something. It'd be the first trans superhero. Brody, Brody. I'm just saying. I got to be real honest with you. You might be 100% right on that. That sounds oh, like some shit Marvel might do. Exactly I'm not even going to lie. That man, that man, that man struck gold when he said that. I'm like, I can definitely. In the comic books, the thing hated, like, the, hate, the thing hated itself. You know he what did. I'm saying? He definitely did. I, yo, I could see them going some route with that. Like, yo, that was the, yo. That's why okay, I, so I can't that, even knock what he That saying. does change my perspective because if they go that route and they do it tastefully, not like, you know, jokingly, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that would change it because here's the thing. I I imagine the thing this one way, but if they do a good job at presenting the thing a different way and giving it like a little bit more depth and telling, you know what I'm saying, a trans story, I'm a okay with it. I'm not one of those people that's like, why they keep on throwing woke stuff in my stuff? Like, I'd be a okay with it because, like, as long as the character, because the, there's a couple of things that the thing still needs, right? Like, you got to remember the thing, even though he does not like being the thing, he's still beasty as fuck, powerful as fuck. So it's like, as long as they don't take his superhero ness away from him, I'm okay with them adding different layers to the story like that. I'm okay. I'm not too attached to the origin of the thing where it has to be monolith like this one way. And if they're adding more depth and adding more story and and it adds, you know, what I'm saying a different layer to that character, I'm okay with that. And if we be honest, too, out of all the characters, that is kind of the one that you want to do that to anyway, because if we're being honest, it's a very old-fashioned type of character. And then, it too, is. actually, it is kind of offensive to have it like that. So it is one that you could remix and stuff like that to open up more to your audience. Because like you said, like, we get Ben Grimm, but it's like, yo, I don't relate to Ben Grimm. Like, I don't I don't relate to you. Like, your story don't have as much depth as it could possibly have. It's like, okay, cool. Like, your parents got a cannoli store, and they about to lose it. It's just like, okay, what, what's the next thing for you? Like, yeah. Give me some. A lot of those characters in Marvel already that 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 typical New Yorker that character mm -hmm. is riddled through Marvel whether it's a a hero or not a hero. There's so many characters that are that is that. So it's like I'm okay if they take that liberty with that and change that. Do y'all prefer the uh, CGI thing or the 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 Michael Chink Chinkless? Grimm? I need I need a mixture of both. Like, I need someone yeah. walking around in it, but I don't mind you layering some CG on it. Like, how did it with it. The Last of Us? In The Last of Us, the um, for if I don't know if you watched it, Dion, but yeah, the, you have the big berserker that we we seen the footage and behind the scenes of the person. But if you watch the behind the scenes footage that HBO put out, they used his model, but then they also mixed it with CGI. And even with the little girl who was in the backseat, same thing, they used the model. And so it was like, if they do it like that, I'm, I'm a okay with that. Because the couple, the, the, the restriction of having a suit is because it's stocky, you're not as limber with it, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then the issue with having CGI, if it's not done well, it sticks out like a motherfucking sore thumb. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you can blend them both and you can do that, then you get that human aspect, but then you also get the visual aspect and areas that we need it. Hey, I, I'm, I'm with Will. I need both. And it, and it's and it's a little bit more cheaper because having to do CGI and the thing would have to be very prominent throughout the film. It's not yeah. like one of those like I can't I can't not have him there. So it's like you're gonna have to have some kind of substitute for when they film it. The only CGI I actually respected, and I was like, they did a good ass job, and I get it because he he took goddamn fourteen years to make was Avatar two. I was like, yeah, man, this shit looks amazing. Yeah, that's what I was literally gonna say. They need to do if they get the studio, you know, that did Avatar too to like to maybe or even even um what is it Industrial Light? Matt, that's the one to do Star Wars stuff. You know, they could mm -hmm. get a. I'm trying to think of, of any like rock creatures on on Star Wars. I can't think of any right. Well, they have the, uh, the rock guy from Thor two, Thor two, three and four. Yeah, right? that was the, that guy. You know, he looked believable. Like you got to make the rocks look like rocks. I guess yeah, like yeah. that 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 the, the orange thing. It's 
like I, I don't know. Like I, I would imagine, you know, you need to see like like maybe it's a little dusty. Some of the rocks are cracked and chipped a little bit. You yeah. know, you see some some torn. Not this. This it looks like it looked like a suit in the older in the other films. It did. It yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. It did. So yeah. pretty much, don't hire anybody from Phase Four. Is what you're saying? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm sorry, Phase Four. Sorry. I wish sorry. the people at Avatar like holla at who created Little Mermaid. I was like, these water scenes look too. You know that head kind of moved different from the the yeah, body, yeah. and it's like ah, something's off, man. Like I, I feel I feel like I don't know if they're gonna clean because the thing is too. I did learn when people put out trailers, they're not fully rendered yet. Oh, so that's yeah, another thing too. So it's just like mm -hmm. so that's what we're seeing in the trailer. But then sometimes, like when we get there, like we see the final render and it looks amazing. Now for Marvel, well, for all that, don't show they, me shit. Just have a guy sitting there, like man. So in this one scene, just have a dude talking about it. All right, we're gonna yeah. have uh, Allie Bailey. She's swimming right now. All right, now Sebastian pulls up. Water, water, water. Uh, flounder. Yo, uh, yo, hey, Brody, you should do that. You should do it to where like the trailers yeah. is about to start. You know, they show little clips like Little Mermaid trailers starting now, and then it's you just turning around and it's like. Describing hey, it, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Brody. I'm gonna yeah. describe the new trailer because we're still working on it, but for some reason, you want to <laughs> see what we've been working on. Yeah, yeah, we're, I, I, I swear the is. render's at 80% right now, where it's almost done. It yeah, should yeah. be done the next two weeks, but hey, that would be but, it, it'll be it, it'll be that only be reactions, series, it'll, like, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be only reactions that you see. So you'd be like, oh, and you'd be like, and you'd be like, uh, renders rendering supposed to be here, you'd be like, no. <laughs> Water effect right here. God! <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you see Ariel coming up with a flu with a, with a nice uh, aerial shot, and it's just a still <laughs> render. But still I believe render. I believe Marvel going to, because you got to think this is the first family out of any. Uh, there's there are two things that people been anticipating more than anything is X Men introduction mm -hmm. uh, uh, introduction and uh, Fantastic Four introduction, right? Like yeah. right now at this point, we've gotten everything that we kind of want. I mean, of course, we want to see where Kang is going to go and all that. But we've been we've been like, when are y'all going to drop the X Men? When are you bringing in the fa uh, the Fantastic Four? So I believe that they're going to put all the stops and invest the right proper money and people into giving us the the proper thing. They have to because they've done they've messed. I mean, just there's no Fantastic Four that everyone's like, yo, that's my that that one's the one, you know. One. Like Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy had, I mean, they really that they had to really take a gamble. And now look at them now, you know, people are like now becoming fan favorites of the Guardians of the, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, Fantastic Four should have been that twice over. Bro, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy did so well that when I played the game, it took me a while to get into it because they didn't look like the characters from I the movie. I can't finish the game, yo. I cannot finish I, the I'm game. I'm like, yo, why do they look so fucking it different? Just, <laughs> yeah, it just don't, it ain't the same. I'm just like, yo, this is one of those ones where it's like, yo, the movie outshines the comic because mm -hmm. you want to always see them. Yeah. And then too, though, but I will say for Fantastic Four, I can't fully, you know, blame all of them on that because it was still at a time where Marvel wasn't around yet, and we still hadn't, you know, like did the groundwork for like the superhero mm -hmm. franchise of movies coming out, and so they still were making it like what you know the fucking big wigs needed it to be and stuff like that. And so oh, we got like the Fantastic Four, so, so. yeah. Well, so we got the Fantastic Four that we got. Yeah, because if you think if you think about it, Fantastic Four was on par with the Spider Man's, right? How that mm -hmm. feel and look was. So at that time. That the first ones, not the one with Michael B. Jordan, but the first ones, they were on par in tone, in color grading, in everything. Like if they, if they, if they were to ever try to connect those movies with each other, it would have fit perfectly because they kind of looked similar to each other, right? So like I get the yeah, what Will saying is like for that time it made sense. I remember because like I remember like the big like the when the first Fantastic Four came out. I didn't really even have that many gripes with it. I was like, okay, this is I, right. you know what I'm saying? This is a good. I, I, had, I, had, a very, I had a very big gripe with it. What was your big, big gripe? gripe? I was like, so we we just gonna pretend this Hispanic woman is a blonde white woman. That's <laughs> that's, that's what we doing. Huh? I wasn't at and then and, and at, then though, was, hold on. At that time, they went further in the sequel and gave her blue contacts. They did the further that they she did. was supposed to be a blonde haired, blue eyed white woman. And I was like, Yeah, but wow. now when they did Sue, I did have all gripes because I love Silver Surfer out next, like he's literally in my top five superheroes for me personally. And 
I was just so upset how they how they did my guy. I, it was the it was the Marlon Brando. It was like look how they did my boy. So what happened? What what what, what, what I, I'm not familiar with That's the comic book. Yeah. So my introduction was Fantastic Four: Rise of Steel oh. Server. Oh, hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me let me talk to you. So you so you remember at the end, right? Where you saw that big ass fucking Galactica. cloud that was coming. Yeah, you know Galactus. Yeah, you saw he Galactus was coming, right? That is not how that nigga looks in the comic at all. That man is so you saw Eternals, right? Yeah. That's what you were supposed to see. He looks like one of them. Oh. And they gave us a cloud. And so that's <laughs> what messed up Silver Server? No, he I'm gonna give him Silver Surfer. I just wanted <laughs> to let you know what you didn't see, what you were supposed to see. No, okay. so for me, because like okay, so the the voice of Silver Surfer was perfect. Like I said, shout out to Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. He, I, I was like, I love that. But it was just like, yeah, the way that they had him, the, like I said, Galactus was horrible. The the whole storyline, like I get, like they was trying to play that storyline of you know of Silver Surfer's plight, but like they they downplayed it. They didn't really go in heavily how they should have. It was just it, to me that was not the introduction that I expected for Silver Surfer. Like you know what I'm saying, like. Um, you know how, like, when Spider Man got introduced to the MCU, just how dope and how it fit everything perfect for the character? That's what I was expecting for Silver Surfer, and this did not give it to me. And, and then, then it, yeah. and then it, it did because of because of the faults of how they did Silver Surfer, it uh amplified the faults of everything else in Fantastic Four franchise for me because then I started <laughs> picking it apart, and I was like, ah, Jesus, man, now it just it fucked up for me. <laughs> like well, it's already kind of. It's already kind of uh, egotistical for them. I mean, come on, dude. It, it, oh, you muted yourself, Deuce. But it's it's called oh, it's called the Fantastic Four. Like you want you expect a fantastic movie? Yeah. Like we got mid, we got the mid four. We got two mid fours. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. You know, that, so Kyle so much gonna have an issue with that because you got to think in Phase Four, a lot of the movies we we picked it apart because of. The amplified words, multiverse of madness, and they didn't really give us that much madness. <laughs> no, no. What was we the just wanted to do the acronym. We just spelled out mom. It was it was Mother's Day. It was about a mom. They just wanted to spell out mom. Multiverse that's of what they, madness. They're like, that's just, what they wanted to do. You know, that's what they yeah. be like. Y'all see what we did there? Yeah, we saw you gave us a mid movie. Like Fantastic yeah, Four was so Fantastic Four was so mid. We forgot that Karen Washington played a blind black woman that married the thing. Wow, <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Wow, that lady was—he married a blind woman. You know what really bothers me? The names alone bothers me. Like all the superhero names, because they're so generic. They're not creative at all. Only names got creative is like the X Men names. But when it comes to like the Incredible Hulk, Fantastic Four, the Amazing Spider Man, well, like, it, it was you a, say it so often. It's normal to us, but he's like, you break it down, it's like it's trash. Well, that's how it was a formula. It was like, all right, what what is what is his powers? All right, his powers is he got spider powers. All right, yeah. so he's the spider. No, I ain't talking about Spider Man, just the, the beginning no, 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 no. of it. Amazing, I'm, 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 incredible. I'm going over, spectacular. I'm going over yeah. the formula. I'm going over the formula. This Go for it. Backtrack. They're like, he's a spider man. He's like, ah, but that's not a much. All right, so what else? Like, I mean, but he he's He's pretty. He's pretty dope. Ah, we can't do dope, Spider Man. Like, <laughs> all right. Well, what about like, uh, he, like, he, like he's 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 a he's, 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 a, spe he's a spectacle. You know, he's he, you know, when you yeah, see a spectacle. What is? Uh, he's amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Stop Boom. right there. <laughs> who do you say? Who do you think of the worst name? As if you break it down, like if you heard it in 2023 for the first time, Cyclops. You wild. He has one eye. That's perfect. That ain't an eye. It's a beam. That's a fucking eye. He has two eyes. He has two eyes. It's a disrespect to Cyclops. It's like, yo, you have two eyes. Hey, hey, hey. It, it it's may a be the same. Dumbest fucking name. Man. It, it may be the this one. Let me this one. There's no reason. Now listen. Superman is trash. Superman <laughs> is a trash ass man. Bro. <laughs> yo. Yo. It's right to it. What type of person is he? He's super, super. No, but the thing is, there's really no creativity. It's hey, what is that thing? Oh, he's the thing. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean, hold on. There's also the blob. 
<laughs> like, how does that feel? How does he feel about him? That's fat shaming. That nigga hates yeah. that. The blob. Yeah. Here comes. Here comes. Old blob. Uh, are you talking to me? Oh, that, that's blob in them. There's juggernaut. There's blob and uh, <laughs> juggernaut. You know? Blob. Blob. <laughs> blob. Toad. Just straight. What blob's power? Well, he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? I wonder at what point did they did they like run out of many mans? Cause you got to think, there's Superman, right. there's right. man, there's all these man. At some point, it was like we don't have any more elements to couple with man. We got to like the X Men names, man, because their names fit their powers. Like Wolverine, you know, Cyclops, Rogue, Jubilee. Like they 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 had yeah. like something associated with their powers versus trying to do the man thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's also man. that's like their street names, though. But like, that's you know, street they, name. that's like that's like their dealer name. Like, yeah, that's like they, they, they call themselves each other. They say Scott Logan, right, they call right. Their real names, like none of them refer to each other as their fucking street yeah. name. You know, you know, it's funny. I don't think I've e I'm, I'm jumping really far out here. I don't think I ever heard in the movies them saying their their street names. Well, remember yeah. that was the whole thing with, yeah. with, with Tom Holland. Yeah, we like, oh, we use uh, our we Jean, use our makeup Jean thing. Gray was called remember? Scott. Yeah, yeah. Jean, Jean Gray was called Scott. Scott. No, I'm saying who has called like By Phoenix superhero well, names. Well, Phoenix is that was that was a thing. I'm talking about like no one said Cyclops. They all call him Scott. <laughs> like no one has called them their street names in the movie. Oh, well, I think it was Hulk? besides Rogue. Yeah, they say Hulk? Rogue. They call Rogue Hulk? Rogue. Well, no, she has a name, right? She does, but she goes by Rogue. Like that's what she was introduced as. I don't so they that. called her Rogue. I'm looking up. I, I kind of feel like in the first one they called her by her her real name. They no, called Bruce. They, they called Bruce Hulk. Like they said it. We saw them talk mm -hmm. to villains. Like we got the Hulk. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But they also, but but he said, but they do acknowledge him too because even like in Infinity Wars, he was like, "Yo, your green friend coming out." Right. <laughs> Yeah, like, you going you gonna get your green buddy to come out and help us. Yeah. <laughs> but man, so we got two more hot topics. We're gonna go through these quick so we can get into the main one, man. Um it, uh Transformers Beast Wars. I'm here for it. Right? Like it, it, ain't, it. it ain't it ain't you there's not too much you need to do when you got cars transforming into robots and now animals and unicron. Yeah. The planet, bro. We get to see finally the planet transform. <laughs> you know why into I'm here for it? Unicron. You know why I'm here for it? Is because it looks like it has lesser human elements to it. That's the yes. one thing that that was my knock against Transformers always. Like with Wiki, he cool and all. I don't need that element. No, I don't need no, no, no. in there. I just give me robots fucking robots up. You know yeah, how expensive I, that is, nigga? What type of money? Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Yo, I don't care. I did not need all that human flesh in that movie. I don't yeah. give a fuck. You could have left them as cars talking. I no, took that. When you see people, that's commercial breaks, nigga. That's, nah, that's what they that. the sponsor. Like, give me a too second, many man. Breaks. This is it a lot of rendering over whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, Optimus, <laughs> man. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Give me All a right, second. Wait, 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 no, because this is what this is what Michael Bay did, which would really piss me off. I said, you got these robots who've been having this thousand year battle against each other. Yes, they got frozen, whatever, but they've been fighting. They've been robots fighting robots for years. Yeah. And now everything results uh, lies on this one human being who has to travel across the world, find the all spark and get it back to him. Like. Nobody else, like no other robot, and we, we got and, and he wasn't getting no bitches. That's what I didn't like. He wasn't getting no bitches. He wasn't meant for that mission. You yeah. might be getting bitches to do shit like that. That's why Tyrese survived because he was he was getting bitches. Congratulations. That's why he was mad. That's why he was mad because he was like, "Yo, I ain't gonna get no bitches if I get killed by Decepticon." Like, hey, when you think about Tyrese and Transformers, what line do you think of? <laughs> Left cheek, left cheek. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. Left cheek. 
Left cheek. <laughs> That's the only line I think of. I don't remember, man. Don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Dude? The, the timeline of Transformers is like, cause if, if we put all what, six of them together, Mm-hmm. They've been fucking up Earth for a long time. Awesome. There's a lot of stuff that's been built inside. There's like, like uh, Bumblebee was fighting next to Hitler. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I was like, yo, if it, if this showed us anything that we as humans are stupid, bro, they went to the King Arthur yeah. times. You remember that? The other one, the, bro. You want to yeah. know what's funny? It's like an international crime to climb um, a, a pyramid. They destroy a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> no, this dude sucked up a pyramid and yeah. spit it out back at yeah. them. And, then, so- and hold on, what pissed me off is in Transformers Four. They said, "I'm still trying to clean up the the uh, the mess we had, did in Chicago." How you gonna clean up fucking cars destroying Los Angeles, Chicago, New York? I'm still trying to hide, tell the people it was a publicity stunt from the government. Nigga, no, I like, saw no. this. <laughs> I saw, I saw this jet have legs. Talk, <laughs> man, fuck you. Turned back into a jet and flew off. You can't make me unsee that. Dude, I was talking to an 18 wheeler. Like, what? what, you, you, what? I, I no, I had a conversation with him. No, I we all had I LSD, watched. man. That was no. LSD in the water. Fuck that. I watched him give a Martin Luther King speech as the sun went down <laughs> and said, Autobots, roll out. <laughs> no, you know, Cam, I, saw, I was there. I saw, a, I saw a car stand up and piss on somebody. <laughs> no. I, I, I saw no. a car who had balls dangling from hey, the hey, no, 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 no. We understand there's some things in the air. There's a lot of chemicals. People may have seen a lot of hallucinations. <laughs> I took a goddamn selfie. I was like, look, hey, y'all look at this shit. Yo, <laughs> I was riding in a police car. It threw me out and then started running. <laughs> I was, I was, I thought I was going to jail. I'm still in handcuffs. <laughs> I don't think my insurance is gonna cover this, right? <laughs> what happened? What happens with a, a, a talking robot car? Use your car as a weapon. Like, does, does all state cover that? <laughs> what happened when it's your car and now it's on a mission and you can't get it back? <laughs> but like, so, um, my car is at the top of the Empire State right now, <laughs> fighting another one. Um, uh, I don't know. Did you mean to sell me this car? Because that's not, y'all didn't have this on the uh, website. You didn't tell me alien robot yeah. is included in the car. And also, you is can't. that extra? Am I paying extra for this? Is, is that, that my yes, that, You so got the sports high? package. That's the sports package. Uh, I, you got the how much is, okay, so how much, package. You how can much get the Autobot. Back and y'all take that out. Then what, what will my car note be? I need y'all to take the deceptive yeah. oh, package. Out. Yeah. I said automatic, not Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my car is on the top of the Queen Mary. Um, I, I want to know what type of insurance I got. <laughs> Oh, does, does, does water damage is that covered? <laughs> okay, man. And last thing, hey I, man, who put all these miles on my car? Like, I, I just got the car. And it's, 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 it's like somebody's been running it to. <laughs> is that is that like they life expectancy? Like, if you become a Toyota Camry and it's like uh, after 170, dog, I don't know what to tell you. You might not be there no more, bro. I was like, yeah, he took a he took a jog last night. and put a few miles. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be more than 170. These niggas can travel in space. I feel like you're going to be looking at like, hey, how does this got 300,000 miles on it and it only came like it's a <laughs> be like, yo, here, here's the shit I'd be pissed off of. Like, nigga, I really got to put gas in you? Like, seriously? You see these prices and you going to make me put gas? Yo, hold up. Yo, man, you sold me a lemon. No, we sold you a bumblebee. Hold nigga. on. I just thought about, Will, you just hit a point. Can these niggas run without gas? <laughs> we ain't never seen them at a gas station. Like, we ain't oh. never. <laughs> hey, somebody, come on, please, please, please. <laughs> yo, 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 imagine one of them two be like, yo, what, what I'm at? Shit, I'm almost on E. <laughs> nah, I can still make it. Come on. I can still make it. Wait, because you can't, you can't, I know my car. Imagine I, I know, I know it, I know it, I know, it. I know myself. myself. I know myself. Hey like, man, just put, put my dick in neutral. Put my dick in neutral and push me to the <laughs> throw my dick here. Just swing that, put it to the end, and then just push me to, to the rest of the way. <laughs> 
And then if it, if it breaks down, do, do you got to get a jump from another <laughs> Autobot? <Like, laughs> put my dick in neutral so I can finish this punch. <laughs> you be like, ah! You be like, put my dick in neutral. Push, push my elbow. There it is. Ah! Oh my god, yo! Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. I, I can say I, I would I would say the four of us are in, are in agreement that we go and see this no matter what. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Beast. Well, I mean, the the cartoon you know was amazing, bro. No, I had no, I honestly had the toys, and if you remember the now. toys, huh? No, it wasn't. Go back and watch it now. I mean, oh, okay, okay, I, okay. The, 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 it is pretty trash. I will. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm, I was lying a little. bit. It was good for the time, but yeah. watching it out now again, it's terrible. The CGI is bad. There's nothing going on in the background. It's literally just them in a in a plain environment. It is. But I will say the toys were amazing when they first came out. Mm -hmm. Megatron was an alligator, and Optimus Primal was a um, was a bat. If you remember that. Oh, I don't remember yeah. that. The I toys. Do. And then when the cartoon came out, they reintroduced Megatron as the as the dinosaur, and Optimus Prime was the gorilla. But it was originally a bat, and and like these were the toys. I had the toys. I had a uh, Dinobot. I had um, I not Dinobot. I had uh, what's the name? The Velociraptor dude or whatever. I had him. Mm -hmm. Um, they were they were actually really freaking cool. Like the Transformers. I mean, huh? Did you get the first one from the Dollar General when he was a bat? No, 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 no. Like they no, those were legit. Ones. I don't those remember this. That's no, funny. No. They legit, it was a bat and a gay. Oh, I do they, remember this. Yeah, I have to look up. They changed it because they I said do it, remember be, it was too scary for kids as the cartoon. So they changed it to a T Rex. Nigga, Mickey Mouse is scary. Uh, do you want to see a mouse running your house? That's terrible. First of all, Mickey is ran by a demon cult. So that's why they made him. <laughs> so that's why he looks like that. <laughs> that I'm is trying to find this. This, is, this last question just, I got for you. Type in Optimus With Prime Bat. That's what I did on Google. It was the first thing that popped up. When when they when they turn into the car, is that their like shell? Because like how what is the benefits of them turning into a car versus being on the outside? Are they faster? Oh, it's to blend in with society. Whatever. Every time that well, a lot of times every time, they, every they, they, every time they get a form. No, I'm saying every time they get it. a form. Every time they get a form, they mimic what's in something in society so yes i get what you're saying like it, it it really they don't necessarily have to have a form they can stay in their robotic form but it helps them stay with society as well but but to his point though i have seen it to where like depending on what they transform into it gives them different type of stuff and abilities and it's oh, like so that is that them or is that the truck and what they're pulling from oh that like, i don't know they, yeah, like when they have like them industrial, like you know, like industrial eighteen wheelers that they had them turn into, and then they had guns and stuff. Yeah, like were the guns already a part of him, or did that make him have those abilities and stuff? I like always that? thought that the car gave him like bulletproof, like power, like a shell, so you can shoot me, you can hit me all you want, but I can't, I can't fight back because I'm in this part right here. So when I come out, now I can fight. So it was like it was like a like an off offense defense thing. See, I thought well, no, because they'll, 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 they'll shoot. No, because they'll shoot missiles out while they're still in car form and stuff. Like yeah, that. they still will do things in car form. See, I thought it was the other way around. I thought their metal was the bulletproof one. So when they mimic the car, they're actually using their metals to mimic that car. And so the car is equipped with their armor, not the other way around. Because I don't feel like you the car would give you bulletproof. The more I think about it. This shit don't make sense. Why are they doing this? <laughs> <laughs> it make what I'm well, saying makes sense because it, it don't. It, you shouldn't even turn into a car, nigga. I am a threat to everybody. Stay in your beast, damn robot. The beast makes sense. The beast ones make sense to blend in and to adapt. Car though should not have been the first option. Well, no, but you think about it like this. Maybe it's because they were so big, they needed to take a form that would be believable. Because if they, if they take a form of a human, you're not going to be a big robot when you transform. You don't have enough, you know. Well, and you're the not, thing, remember they did that robot in Transformers 3 that was a lady that was trying to seduce Wick. Wick, Wick. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was that. That, that got was ridiculous. Hilarious. I was like, so this is Terminator now. That's <laughs> that got ridiculous. Yeah, I'm waiting for Arnold to pop up now. But yeah. I also seen that motorcycle that turned like it was a motorcycle, and when he came out to a woman, 
It was like seven foot. I was like, how? What, well, what we know, what, but we know they different sizes too. So they come in different different sizes as well. Because remember the little uh, R R C uh, yeah. truck yeah. that was up and stuff and everything. So that's actually that's actually something we should deep dive into into another episode, man. And, and, and something real quick I wanted to touch on too. You know, uh, they got Optimus Prime. Uh, what, what what time period does it take place? Like the eighties or nineties or something like that. This one, the Beast Wars, right after Bumblebee. Oh, I don't know. So it's okay. So it's so it's it's actually a, a different iteration of Optimus Prime. I don't know if y'all did y'all know that it's not even the same Optimus that, Prime. It's, it's the original Optimus Prime from like the cartoons. Oh no, I didn't that's know that. I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that well, was keep in the talking, nigga. Movie. I don't know that. What, you, what happened? Yeah, Why yeah. The one? It's, they got they got the, like the the one we grew up on, the cartoon one. That's the the tra- That's the way he transformed. So I I, I can't remember if it was a eighteen wheeler that he used to transform into or what it was. Um, but it's but it's that it's that version of Optimus yeah. Prime. So it looks more like uh, more like a Gundam robot almost, you know, as opposed if you, to one week. If you look at the last Bumblebee movie that they had, that's they they showed Optimus Prime, and that's like they made him look more like the '80s version, where it was kind of more boxy instead of looking like the yeah. planes and the way they had him. He looks more like got a transformer now. Yeah, and that's the way they got him shaped now. Got you. Yeah. Right. So, um, so yeah. So we can do that. Um, so you know, we can kind of throw Beetlejuice too into the, our main topic. Um, so for those that do know you, most of y'all know. Most of y'all have seen it on social media, man. The writers in Hollywood, the writers at uh, Guild Award, whatever it's called. I'm not mm-hmm. a writer, so I apologize. But them dudes, the right, the writers are on strike again. Yeah. Last strike was in 2007, I believe. Um, the writers are picketing right now down on Sunset, man, um, due to inflation that's going on, um, streaming revenues and stuff like that, mm-hmm. not being able to get those like those percentages from all of the stuff that's being made. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, man, right now, Hollywood is kind of shut down. I think all of us know people that's here in the Hollywood area. Of course, we you know heard some of the stings from certain people like, yo, certain jobs that they were looking forward to this summer or getting shut down or being put on hold right now just because of what's going on. So, man, I just want to get y'all, y'all takes. Like I know we have Dion here as a producer, uh, Deuce, you also, you you know, a producer, someone who is up and coming, but also can feel the sting of this. And of course, Brody yourself, you are an actor who has been on television, been in movies and stuff like that. So I know that this, in some way impact shall and i would like to get your perspective on how this is impacting you and what your thoughts are on it um let me start with brody to get from the actor perspective um i watched the interview last night too i mean it's the, the the common dialogue is obviously uh since the pandemic um you know it, it's just been a, a crazy time to even try to create content to put content out um with so writers have always had to kind of pivot. Um, there was a strike 15 years ago that occurred. And that uh, each time there's a writer strike, it, it brings along a bunch, a huge wave of reality television and, and performance and competition shows and those types of things. That the normal consumer doesn't even, isn't even aware that this is occurring until we get the return of like really good shows and good sitcoms like hell, like, 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 you know, like stuff like blackish or like, like those old, the sitcoms we were used to, but even if, whether they're single camera or, or multi-camera. Um, and now the, the sad part is they have all of these scripts in, in the database with it. There's no coincidence that this strike is happening and there's the advent of chat GPT getting so popular where yeah. you have, they literally are like, okay, we can hire our 12 writers back for this show, or we can hire our head writer, a writer's assistant, and have them run our old scripts through chat GPT. And, and, and look, like you can literally put in chat, chat GPT. I did this the other day, man. I, I put in, write me, uh, I said, <clears throat> give me a log line for the sequel to Training Day. All right, I literally put this in. I said, give me the title, give me the log line. The title of it, I was like, I couldn't even hate on it. I was like, this nigga. That's a good Say title. it. Let me hear it. <laughs> I gotta give the build up. I'm giving the build up. It was called A Long Night. All right. And in this vlog line, uh, Alonzo, the Denzel Washington character, he is the captain. So he survives, you know, the, the events of training day, and he's now the captain of the LAPD. So the crookedness is is on another level of it. I mean, it just built up. And then I said, write me the script. Don't you know this chat GPT wrote the script out, gave me like a hot, like 
20 pages of the, of what the script could look like. And if you want wow. more, you can, you can do the whole thing. So with that being said, it's taking, it's aggregating the actual storyline and the events and make, and, and you, when you look at it, you, all you're lo- really looking for is like, does the, are there any loopholes? Does this add up? Was this foreshadowed? Like how, how, how cohesive is it to a, 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 a prior installment of whatever it is. So you do that, you fit that formula with all the television that's going on right now. And you have way more, a show like, I don't know, like Modern Family or a show like The Office. You have multiple seasons. You have so many characters. That chat GPT could know the tone in three scripts. Now you have hundreds, a hundred scripts to, to give it to this, this database that can now populate different scenarios for it. Man, I hate I hate that to even say it out loud because I don't like to admit that that's the truth, but that's that's the reality, man. That's a, that's a real reality. You can't it's, go back. It's going to give away to new jobs, like where you have now. You have a you might because with the writer strike, it, the, the new jobs that came about were story producer. So people couldn't be called a writer on a show; they were mm-hmm. considered a story producer. Now they might have this new job where it's called okay, Chat GPT supervisor. That's a wild title. That's a I mean, but, title. so so here from a brand designer perspective and a producer perspective, I see where there's the wrong in that. But then also I also see where there can be a shining positive in that because of the reason of because of how much we digest. That allows you to do a lot more, because even think about it, Brody, if you and I had an idea for a movie and we have something that writes out the whole script and all we got to do is go proofread it and put it into our perspective, you know how much time that saves. <clears throat> you could pump out about six to seven of these scripts and have these things pushed into where people can see more of your content, more of your stuff being created to where it's not taking so much up of you. The only problem with that is that no, it's very, let, let me not say no one. It's very unlikely that people are going to try to make that beneficial for others. Like even like right now with the Writers Guild, why not instruct people on how to use chat of uh, that chat uh, program that are currently writers well, so that think, they can be able to do more stuff? But I think one of the <clears> big <throat> issues is that, you know, with any AI, it pulls from real life examples. So I think that that's what it is, is like. You may pull, you may use Chat GPT or you know, write me this script of this, right? And then when you read it, you're like, damn, yo, this sounds a hell of a lot like a Dion Lack script, right? Because it's pulling from mm-hmm. examples that Dion wrote. And now, you know, saying somebody else is like, all right, well, yeah, this is the script I wrote, and then Dion watching and like, yo, wait, that that's eerily similar to my style and everything. So now he's like, wait, did, and then you find out, oh yeah, it was influenced by Dion. I wrote, I used his chat GBT. I said, write me a script like Dion Lack or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then now it's like, so what is, what is Dion's pay in that? So the, I, like, I get what you're saying because it's almost like with um, auto-tune, right? When auto-tune mm-hmm. first came out, it was giving non-singers ability to sing, right? But then you had somebody like T-Pain who mastered it and used it as a skill where it was like, look, Y'all can use auto-tune, but you're not going to use it like T-Pain because T-Pain actually has singing skills and knows how to use this. And and if there, if there's a way where AI can be like that, where it's not the one, it's not the thing that transform you, but it's a tool to help amplify those who are creative, then yes, I agree with you. The issue is, is that right now it doesn't seem like it's going to be able to do that. Right. <clears throat> well, I did a, I did a thing. I said right. Uh, I said. Uh, Write me a synopsis for a sequel trilogy to Star Wars that is different from what we got in theaters. They gave me three films, and I was more excited about these. And one of them was called Star Wars. The first one was called Star Wars Legacy of the Force. So the galaxy's still recovering, New Republic. But the second film was called Star Wars Children of the Force. The mm-hmm. third one was called Star Wars Legacy of the Jedi. And it's basically... Uh, um, uh, it takes many years later. The descendants of the original heroes must band together to face a powerful dark side user who seeks to destroy everything they built. I mean, it's, it's, oh, they're trying to, uh, they have to confront the Jedi Order itself. Now the Jedi are, are the bad guys, which is like, I was like, yo, that's actually super interesting. The Jedi being but, like really seen as the bad. But so, but so think about that too, though. In that case, 
it's still you still would have to build that out. So you still need who's your main character, who are the people you're gonna bring in, where is this set, what time is this set? It still it gives you that <laughs> outline. Hey, flesh it who out. Who could play the characters <laughs> in Hollywood in these films? films. <laughs> There you go. Like, bro, like, that's what I'm just like. I understand that it's messed up. But at the same time, too, like, if I can make more things to pitch out to people to provide more jobs because I got more productions going. Fame will forward as Ben Skywalker. Daisy Ridley as Janice Solo. John Boyega as Jason Solo. Pedro Pascal as Kyle Katarn. Oscar Isaac, Isaac as Wedge Antilles. Lupita Nyong'o as Mara Jade Skywalker. Like, I'd watch it. I'd be, I'd watch it. <laughs> just off of what you just said, I'd watch it. Matter of fact, I need you to bring that back up when we get into our fan of fiction for Street Fighter. It's that's all right that's here. You and McGregor as Luke Skywalker. They messed that up right there. But not, but you could easily fix this. Adam yeah. Drivers and stuff. They have Mark Hamill as the ghost, the force ghost of Han Solo. Okay, this is where they fucked up. That makes no sense. They got, you know what? They almost got to use it like a randomizer, right? You know how, like, we've all used randomizer for set, Fucking it's, it's your it's your it's your you brainstorm like a, a skeleton like it's not the say yeah. all end all it's just like all right damn I'm I'm racking my brain here let's use a randomizer let's see what it puts out because it starts the conversation if you use it that way I can see it but I think the issue is is that there's people I mean there's people who's going to use it as this is it this is the script this is what I'm going and off of I'm not making any liberty changes and that's the fear but that's gonna be the fall too about it because. It's the same thing in trying to feel like robots need to control this. Robots can do that. Like even making a McDonald's that's fully automated by robots. It's like you still take that genuine human connection away. Yeah. And what's going to start happening is best comparison for it. You know what AIs will make for you? AIs will make this for you. But the human element that you're going to add because they don't know how to write how to really make movies, we're going to get the same superhero movies we got back in the gap for Superman and Fantastic Four and Spider-Man. They're cool, but they're not mm -hmm. what they're supposed to be. People, writers, these people who care about this stuff, these people who got a passion for it, you combine both of those, you get Guardians of the Galaxy. You get Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. Volume 2. You get Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That those are the difference between this. So no matter as much as they want to put this AI in, that human touch you cannot get rid of. You could yeah. try for a little bit. You could try to find as much. And again, just like to Brody's point, you could try to have it like it where it's one person, a supervisor, and one more that's going through all this chat BT, uh, chat t chat stuff. I always I don't know what the fucking <laughs> name is. I'm sorry. Yeah, chat oh. BT. That's a different. That's that's pretty <laughs> funny in itself. That's the Allen Iverson uh, uh, AI practice. Yeah. We talk about practice. I just realized this show that we do, it's really just a hub for sketch ideas. <laughs> Cause we be coming up with some hilarious premises. I just Jack I just want, yo, opened up a world of, of ideas. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see them on one screen so I can be like, y'all know exactly where y'all got that from. And y'all got 48 <laughs> hours to call. That's what yeah. I'm gonna say. You got 48 hours to call. You we know you know where you pulled that idea from. So I'm, I'm, the one thing I would say, though, I am on the side of the writers only because I have PTSD for the last writer strike. I loved Heroes, and Heroes took the biggest hit because of the writer strike, and I do not want that to repeat because they're so – right now – in TV, we are cooking. In the, the, in the past five years, we've gotten Marvel products. We've gotten new Star Wars. We've gotten Stranger Things. We've gotten Walking Dead. We've gotten peak hood cinema in Power, in Snowfall. We've gotten so – we've gotten – comedy like we've gotten so many dope shows that i do not need these shows to fall because the writers aren't getting their just due i need I these writers to be paid what they deserve i need that their security to be because i do not want as a fan i do not want my shows to take a hit but also just knowing this fight against ai and me you know what i'm saying pursuing voice acting what i just look at the Mandalorian season four <laughs> i just look yeah! at the I just look at the residuals of if the writers are getting protected, you know what I'm saying, through AI and streaming, as an actor, yes, we do. It, it, it'll trickle down, and you know what I'm saying, because that's the fear. Like, as dope as it is that um, that Darth Vader's voice will forever be bro, it's also scary that now I see 
studio saying, oh, we'll put you in this movie, but also we need to own your voice so that way we can keep it in, you know what I'm saying, for this. And we're going like, like, what's, what's that deal going to look like? What does my deal look like as a voice actor? I mean, I really want to keep my voice. So if body cha- so I'm sure they can mimic James Earl Jones' voice, right? Yeah. They could have, yeah. So so technically, they don't really need these actors to do voiceovers anymore. They can probably play, pay for the likeness of it, right? So if it's yeah, like, I mean, like if they're like Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper, I need you to say like ten words. We'll take it from here. We you think need- Vin Diesel's gonna be Groot ever again? <laughs> yeah. Because well, yeah, I- it's, it's, I'm, I'm just saying, like for any other. Crudes too. Oh, it's, no, it's, any, it's, any sort of voiceover. Iconic voices though, because uh, like not everybody deserves the right. You know no, what I'm saying? You, James Earl Jones but... as as Darth Vader. It's it's really going to be hard to find a better version. But but Deuce, it's not even about rights anymore. It's also about the beat playing smarter, not harder. Like think yes. about it. Saving if money. My, if, yeah, like for me, if I can do sixteen voiceover movies and it's like yo i don't have to be there i just have to have them have my rights to be able to use my voice let me hear it to make sure i ain't saying some bullshit and it can go out it's like yo you know how much some pick up lines from here and there because with the emotion yeah it's like you know how much time i save how much credibility get not not to mention how much money you could potentially make being able to do that it's just again like how you said though it's all about how you do it right and how you present it to where you're not getting screwed out of your deal yeah but like i'm just looking at i, I did the the uh who what would the Mandalorian season four look like? And I like all their ideas, man. Hey, the, the search for Ezra Bridger, the return of Boba Fett, the aftermath of Moff Gideon's defeat, more Jedi, the Mandal- the, the the Mandalorian Civil War. And here's the I thing. said that that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen next season. It definitely is. But here's the thing about AI and Chat GPT and, and and all this stuff. Outside, of like I I get the threat of it, but look what Brody's doing. And I was doing that like all day, like two days ago. Hey, putting those prompts in is fun as fuck. And that's the issue too. They made this AI shit so fun that now like you be, you start off fucking around. Then you start getting serious. And the next thing you know, you're like, hey, I actually got something for real here. <laughs> like like I, the other day, bro, I legit, I was on the, um, I was on mid journey. And the, you know, that's the AI with the images. So I, I'm fucking around, fucking around. And I was like, man, what? type of art thing that I haven't seen done, right? And so then I was like, ooh, I wonder that if I did um, the X-Men, but I put them in, like, the wire, how would they look? And so I started (laughs) doing different characters as different people, and I said, yo, this would be a really dope series. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to put this out because now I felt, because then I I started feeling dirty. I'm like, oh, man, I'm muddying up the waters here. But no, but if you think think about it, too, in that standpoint, it's like, it's what you use to wield it like that. Because think about it. Now you just got something that's helping you brainstorm. It's helping yeah. you visually see yeah. what you need to do. And so it's like, that's a great thing. But like, should people not have jobs so you could try to make just two people take care of the shit with, and let the machine do all the work? No, that's dumb. But I think you should be able to have it to where this allows people to get uh, to make it a little bit easier for them to get the creativity that they want out. And structured like that, like even just like what Brody wrote. Will about, like, read about has that. a podcast called Straight Out of a Comic Book. What should he discuss on the next episode? Wow! Hey, this is about to be if the, hey, this is about to be wild if it tells us some. <laughs> I'm, I'm just shut up. Now. <laughs> But you know what? I mean, I get what you're saying. Because like, if we storyboarding and I need to get the visual representation, then stuff like Mid Journey and stuff like that, yes, it'll help you sell the story. Like you're able to get those images. But then again, the issue then is that there's people whose whole career is I draw art for you for your storyboard. So right. now you exiting out that person's role. But then, but then too, now you. Also, but then, but then now you're trickling down an effect to where you're going in a place where it's it's going to be just an endless result of nothing. Because then now if you're saying that, now you have to take on the people at Fiverr and all the people in those categories that make templates for people to use that, 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 is that a, you that is use for your top five intro. It's like, hey, like you said, you got your top five intro. You didn't pay top dollar for that, did you? No. You paid a monthly subscription for these people to have this on there that they'll get some kind of payment for. And it's like, yo, that's just a system that has been there. It has been 
concrete for the longest time and it just happens now to be the newest thing is AI. You, know now, crazy? you can't you can't put the, the toothpaste back in the tube. It's out here now. Oh, it's out now. But it's it, out. it ain't no reversing this. And that's so the issue. What's gonna happen is we're gonna have to get used to this to this to this AI Jet P GPT chat. Mm-hmm. And um and what's gonna happen is the the program is gonna be like now it's a hundred dollars a month. Now you ask is like, oh my god, I haven't wrote a script in like 12 years. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's like ah, now you know what's gonna be messed up is that now that it's out, we're gonna have to rely on AI to detect when people are using AI so that oh. way we can say we ain't using that no more, right? Because that's, that's what it's going to eventually lead to. It's either going to lead to we are accepting it or it's going to be, all right, we oh. now have rules that if this is created by AI, we can't use it. You got to put are- intentional typos just to throw it off. You got to spell shit wrong with bad grammar. Yep. So like, <laughs> hey, I- hey, Brody, would you be able to say somebody said, hey, uh, write me an hour a special for HBO. <laughs> and now... You wrote a whole bit of, of who you are. And like, why does he keep coming up with this fire material every single Yo. month? Also, that's a movie. That's a whole movie. Oh, um, matter of fact, no, you know what, too? That is that there's actually a movie out that did something like this. And I'm I don't know. You Dion, you may know it, uh, but it was Al Pacino was the star of it, and it was called Simone. And it oh. was this. It was this guy that created an AI, and but he was about to die. Basically, he had like eye cancer, and there wasn't nothing he could do. And so, Al Pacino played this director that was like kind of like declining and stuff like that. And so, he was a huge fan of his, and so he gave him the AI, and he didn't realize what he had. And basically, he created this entire human and put all the best features of all the the best actresses to make this one AI woman that he used and put in all his movies. Yeah. And it made him skyrocket and stuff. Like he he had it, and he had it down to a science. Like he could get the biggest names and have them film in this green screen and be like, Oh, yeah, she doesn't film with anyone. So you're gonna be here, they're gonna talk it. This is the person that's gonna play her, and then they're gonna put that in and stuff. She became a huge singer, and then she became so big that he was like, Yo, this shit getting out of hand because it's wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm making all this money. This is not a real person. And he couldn't get rid of her. And so he was like, yo, I'm going to take all the hard drives. I'm going to throw that shit in the ocean. And they started making stuff up about her. Like, it was like, yo, like people started kind of figuring it out. It's like, the shit ain't real, so we can use this to our advantage. Yeah. And the shit, like, I would definitely recommend everybody to go check out that movie with, with, with uh, the fact of, like, what AI is doing right now. Well, because that's the thing. What's, uh, oh, this, what's going to really crack it open and solidify it and I bet you somebody's already working on it and possibly already either filming it or doing it. There's going to be a movie that is going to be AI scripted and AI generated. Like none of the real people is going to be in it. And it's, once it becomes a blockbuster, once they put it out and Hollywood sees it works, it's over. Well, they tried that. Remember, we tried that with Beowulf and a few other things. Yeah, so but that, that actually about, with now technology is different. <laughs> that so that actually might be a dope thing to do though. Cause like again, you gotta understand, man, like. I don't I don't see a lot of people, especially in this industry, not taking the offer of giving up they like likeness rights for stuff to where I don't have to go get in. Because be, best example, do you think what's the what's the guy that played Sabretooth in uh the X-Men Origin? Lee Leave. Oh, yeah, name? yeah, him. Liam's I forgot his name. Yeah, if, if they offered him to go like, yo, we're gonna give you an AI generated person, so you ain't gotta get in shape like that, how you were. All you got to do is say a few words. We're going to make the script and you're going to be Sabretooth again in the next film. You don't think he's going to take that offer? But that's different. That's A-OK because you are talking to the person. If but what we're A-OK. Time, <laughs> yeah, that's A-OK. The AI, that AI is A-OK. A-OK. But when you think about the, the issue is that there's things that are happening without people being associated with it. Like maybe it started off with the music. All those Drake yeah. It was Drake songs that dropped. Drake, it, it wasn't like they a, a company said, "Hey, Drake, can we make some songs and put it out under your name?" No, they just made it and put it out on the name, and that's the fear. Is right now there's nothing that is governing against that. I mean, but we we've been through that with pirated music. Eventually, yeah. they are gonna find a way to do that. That's why it's just yeah. like as Dion said, you can't put the toothpaste back in the bottle. So that it's like you can either find a way to. 
adapt to what's going on or you're going to fall to the wayside. Hey, man. Hey, man. The father of AI just resigned from Google. Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, the Apple uh, CEO, they're <laughs> like, we need to, st- they, they, they're they like right now saying we need to shut down AI. Already oh, they're yeah. saying that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because now that means they know happens. some shit. Right. Be- because people lose their mind off of fake tweets. Mm-hmm. But y'all see what uh Morgan Freeman said? He said, all these white women can kiss my dick. But it's just somebody <laughs> created that. Yeah. So, so it's going to get to a point where somebody's going to do like a, a, a deep fake of the president and the voice and say, we need to bomb Russia right now. And Russia's wait, like, fuck! And, and, wait, and add to that, they're going to pay $14.99 to get a verified badge on Twitter and tweet it out. Yep. Bro, you can you can trick the whole world for under a hundred dollars. Pay for AI. <laughs> pay for a trial. trial. Pay, a for trial. A ver- pay for a verified badge, pay for the AI voice, and pay for the AI video and put it out. World World Three from a child <laughs> yep. doing a prank. Yeah, you I seen <laughs> yep, I was watching some IG uh channel that uh some dude he does like he takes uh Arnold Schwarzenegger face and put him on famous movie clips. And when yeah. I tell you. And he he do the AI where it talks him, and I'm like, you just swore Arnold Schwarzenegger did a, a Hungarian version of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's funny. And I need it just a, never came. I out. need to do an AI of of like a deep fake of my my penis size for for only only fans. <laughs> <laughs> and they be like, Yo, do y'all pack it like that? I'm like the, the irony, it still has Arnold Schwarzenegger's face on the tip. <laughs> Talking about get get down. I want I want your hot loving. He gonna have three balls. <laughs> like Tom <Tomo> Rico. <laughs> I'm about to get to the chopping. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm about to explode. Oh. I busted, but I'll be back. Here's my kindergarten cock. <laughs> I just came, but I'll be back. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, Hasta la vista. So I got, I gotta know with this writer strike going on, what what shows do you think might be in jeopardy if this strike? I don't, you know, I don't think they're gonna do it again. As in, I, I don't think they knew what happened two thousand seven. Yeah. So I think they're gonna just buy a bunch of reality shows that don't need scripts. It's gonna be trash. But it's it's not wise to to get you know bargain bin writers to to take on your show now. So that's what I'm saying. Some of these are gonna have to close up. Like again, like in 2007, like they mm-hmm. said, bro, heroes, heroes caught yeah. the axe from that. That was the repercussion of what's going on. So we're going to have that if this thing proceeds over a hundred days. And there's a lot of stuff that just ended. Luckily, so like even like for instance, like Abbott Elementary just ended. Yeah, snowfall so, is gone. Snowfall is done. Yeah, snowfall must have knew this shit was coming and packed up and got the <laughs> fuck out. Mayans as well, and the Goldbergs. Like the Goldbergs been on for ten seasons and they just finna yeah. do their series finale. And Mayans are just releasing their final season. But we still got a lot of these like power that's still going strong. Uh, I mean, they are they, those show those shows already shot though. Yeah, but going into another season though, yeah, mm-hmm. is that the you know the possibility? Lord of the Rings, God of War now. Wow. All of those are supposed to be coming out. Yeah. The Last yeah. of Us. Ooh, a black man. a black girl sketch comedy show. Like, yeah, would you wait? But, uh, man, see, would you wait till this is over with? I don't, want this, with, or I don't want this to happen, man. There's and, too many good shows that need to come back. I don't need any of them to take a hit. Would you wait? If you was that company, would you wait? to like? It, it could be six months. It could be two years. Or would you try to... But again, the industry, I mean, I'm I'm still talking from a fan perspective. And so it's like, I know that, you know, you can't wait for so long. But I, I mean, if I had a studio that could withstand, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm like, I, it's tried and true and I got the money. I would because, you know, I, I'm always I'd rather be on the side of the creators than the side of the money makers. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so when it comes down to it, these writers, I I don't see a fault in their argument. You know what I'm saying? I do agree what Will is saying where, you know, if we can find a way it can work in harmony, that would be the best outcome. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm 
if I'm picking sides, I'm definitely on the sides of the writers because, yeah, they definitely should have that security. They should have, you know what I'm saying, a better pay for streaming services and accountability for AI. Like, there should be a whole lot of things that should be written in to, to cover them. Now, granted, once all that gets put into place and those laws and those things are written out, then, yeah, it comes down to negotiation still off of talent and everything. But, like, yeah, I, I'm I'm on the side with the writer. So if I had a company that had the money, if I was Marvel and I had the money to spare and stuff like that, where I'm like, okay, we can take off a couple of months or whatever the case, then, yeah, I, I definitely would. I would pause. Man, here's what I would do. I'm, I'm going with low-budget spinoffs. <laughs> that's what i'm going on with <laughs> like if i would like if i would yo like because if you think about it, like if i was the last of us no not even the last of us let me give a better example like i would find anybody like on a show that i know i could semi do a spinoff with that i could keep interest in but shoot very low i would just work on that so like star wars the cantina band member story yo hey <laughs> These niggas getting ready for their gig. Just getting ready. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's all in the cantina. Like, all shot in the cantina. Who's yeah, the, and who, it's just a company. Who's the Bobby a company. Brown in the cantina? <laughs> who's the what? Who's the Bobby Brown? You gotta have one. You gotta have one role person. Yeah. You think they the Cause star? Because you, you think about it, like that's one set. That's it. That's it. Doing too much spice. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we don't have to go far because it's like yo, it's shot don't in one space. Killer. Yeah, it's only a few people, and then like if you need extras to fill up the space, you just get the production to come in there. So it's like, yo, it still can be a good show. It's just shot cheaper. It's to distract you from when the next stuff coming out. Because if I can be like um, the uh, Godfather of Harlem, where I can give a two year gap and then come out, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with being able to wait until writers mm -hmm. got their stuff. But it's like, if I know I do need the money, it's like, yo, I'm gonna do these little spinoffs. That's like, yo, it's one season. It wasn't even a lot of money. It was just to put out and people enjoyed mm -hmm. it. And if it's a hit, when y'all come back, there's another show to do. Dion, what about you? I'm I, I'm a reality person guy. I'm I'm totally fine with them trying to like spe uh, specifically my show, my hip hop show. Uh, hopefully, I can. <laughs> this bitch. Yeah, yeah that, there's that a few shows I know. Yeah, because there's a because <clears throat> because I know a lot of people were upset. Creators, showrunners were upset with the 2007. They were upset what what happened because they got they really got those like who wants to come in and write. Um, and it was like you know I don't want to. Uh, compromise my vision or the integrity of the show so let me just go ahead and just you know networks what do you guys have that, that i can kind of throw in some sort of uh singing show uh debbie does new yeah, york no, no, competition mm -hmm. and reality went crazy at that yeah, time no script no script um but yeah um but you know also what's gonna happen though this is gonna be a lot i hate it i hate it but there's going to be a lot of desperate writers um, that was like, you know what? This is my big break. I have script ideas. Um, yeah. Let me sell you on it. This is my well, first they, job. To they be put out a go up right now. That. They did put <laughs> out a snap. Yeah, they did. They, I mean, it is. It, it, but it, as a writer, then if you do that, you go. You're you're going directly against the strike, and then now you become kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like what's yeah, you kind of become blacklisted because now, now your peers are looking at you like, bro, you fucking up what we were trying to do. It's going to be, it's going to get messy. Any strike. My gets name messy. is Rudy William <laughs> Brody. <laughs> leave, leave my name out of it. Leave my name out of it. He's like, leave my name out of it. I hope it doesn't get messy. I hope it works out. I just, like I said, I get it. I mean, because from the studio standpoint, they don't they are like they're more they're more so like we really don't even know how we're going to gauge this they don't know how to gauge that and that's their talking point is like and and so it's like it, it is unprecedented times because it's like this this ai shit came out and fucked up everything so now everybody got to deal with it yeah i mean but i, I, I don't say, think it's the ai i think it's, it's the streaming too no it's, streaming, it's, 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 it's inflation it's and stuff like that too like you know inflation didn't happen and their and their pay hasn't gone up 
but right. the increase in work continues to come in because it's like it's a high demand to continue to do streaming content and stuff like that. That's why there's still that big like argument between coming out weekly or just dropping in both. Well, they're also mad about the uh, because of streaming services, it's messed up the residual payment. That's that's the real reality yeah. too. Like you know, I, and uh, you know, if y'all don't, I mean, y'all know, but like you know, you did a hundred episodes back in the day. You did a you did a sitcom. That joint's going to syndication. You see in the Cosby Show at two o'clock on TNT for whatever mm-hmm. reason, and 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 you're getting a check. But now because of streaming services, they don't really understand how to monetize that properly. So you got a lot they of don't get numbers. Netflix, well, not, what, they don't get the well, numbers and stuff. Yeah. Well, not just the number two. It's the fact of where it's being housed. So if it's not a Netflix original. It has the the potential of not being housed on there. So Netflix is like, I'll house Brody's movie for the next three years. And then it's like, you know, you always see those things like, hey, watch it now before it goes off and stuff like that. And then it's like, now, where does it go to be aired next? Is it going to be aired on Hulu? Is it going to be available on Prime? Or South Park has a great movie? episode of that Streaming Wars. The South Park episode, if you watch that, it's a little yeah. short one hour, one hour uh, episode of South Park Streaming Wars. Check that out. That is not short, nigga. That is not short at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's short as 15 minutes. That yeah. is a, sorry, D- that is D- a, D- you want me to give you the cliff notes? You want me to yeah, niggas, they, they say go ahead and watch this quick short five <laughs> right. minutes. Give me five that, minutes. Nigga. You get the no, like, episode of South Park. I said go watch this episode of Park. all right. Whatever I said, at the episode's an hour, it's good. It's called streaming wars. Yeah, this is, that's, that's an episode. You can't say a quick short. That's a Marvel special presentation. That <laughs> it's an extended a episode of South Park. It's a South Park movie, a short film. Yeah. I said a short yeah. film. A short film is an hour. You didn't say a film. I thought you it was an episode. Yeah, you said. That. I was gonna say a short film, not a short episode. It's a, it's a, it's a long episode of short film. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's but but I mean it's it shouldn't be no argument. It's just one of those things of get with the times. Like again, yeah. just going back to what Dion said, you can't take the toothpaste back into the bottle. So it's like yo, get with the time. Give these people their stuff. Like it's not it's not they're not asking for a high demand. It's like if anything, it's something y'all should be looking into and figuring out how to shape, how to form and how to make sure that these people get paid to continue to make your product. Yeah. Like it's not it's not like it's like it's it it is very silly to me that if I'm on the set of my DC film, we have to pause because y'all don't want to pay the writers. The writers made sure I sound like a real black man and not a fucking <laughs> right? Disney original channel character. Like, yo, yeah. pay these people they stuff. Like, it's just, it's just. Know, it, yeah. Would y'all, if, if you was a writer, would you want a, a bigger introduction and no residual or low rate as writing it and then residuals if the show does well or not? Like a back end deal. I'm, I'm for the back end deal. I'm always back for end? the back end deal. Yeah, I'm like always for the residuals. For the if you when you building your legacy and everything like that, you want to be able to when I retire, if I, I'm like I'm still getting this back end, I'm still getting mm-hmm. paid, I'm still like I'm good off of what I created, not just in a moment. Yeah. So I, I'm that's definitely that's a gamble though. That's a gamble. Um, no, not not like, that's... What if it was like? What if it was like we're gonna pay you a hundred dollars per page, which is three hundred dollars if you do a 30, 30 page script, and it was like, and if it does well, I'm just well, saying, what if? Your math, yeah, like wait a minute. Bro, three you pages is you said a hundred dollars. That's sorry. like three hundred dollars. Oh, I'm man, sorry. three thousand. Sorry, you don't deserve <laughs> to wear glasses, nigga. <laughs> yeah, bro, you making glasses people look real bad. <laughs> Wait, man, since you only make it, so, so Dion, it depends on what I'm writing for, right? Because I'm a person that, depending on, like, I, 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 I'm able to gauge my talent, right? Yeah. So if I know that I, if I know I'm cooking up some heat, I'm rolling the dice on myself. Yeah. But then also, too, also too though, is knowing your worth. Like, if it's like, you're telling me I need to write a Friday movie and stuff like that, and I don't know it's going to be a success like Friday. Like, I'm going to make sure I get my rate for my lifestyle. So it's yeah. like, whatever I know I need to make, it's just like, okay, that's my rate to do this and mm-hmm. stuff. But I'll take the back end pay to get like the. Write me a prequel to Friday called Thursday <laughs> featuring a young ice cube and a young Chris Tucker. What did it say about my show? What did it say about my show? Oh, your show? Uh, let me give you that. If I went to the other Will Ferrell. It but gave you five. No, it said Will Ferrell. I typed it in. It, it, it did say. It thought I said Will Ferrell, but then I just switched to Will Ferrell. But it gave you, you know, one episode: the impact of comic books on pop culture, the role of diversity in comics, the legacy of Stan Lee, 
um, the evolution of superhero costumes, the impact of social media on the comic book industry. All great topics for your show, Will. Hey, okay. You, what, what's, what is this place called? What is this place? <laughs> yeah. so, uh, chat, chat BET. Like I said, chat BET. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> not to be confused with chat EBT. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, That's when you got to write your own AI in. You got to. <laughs> like, why am I just writing a script? This only makes sense. You keep writing. Keep you can keep going. Keep going. You're doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm already on page six. It has to catch up. Keep going. He said, I'm taking a cigarette break. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I like, like you that. good? I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go back. I keep, I keep I, spelling things correct, but it keeps giving me slang. What is up with this? <laughs> Yo, it's Thursday afternoon in South Central Los Angeles, and Craig Jones is hanging out with his best friend Smokey on their front porch. Like this is <laughs> wow. Craig is a high school senior who's looking forward to graduating in a few weeks. <laughs> wow. While Smokey's a slacker who's always looking for a quick way to make some money. That nigga, that's Thursday. Thursday. I want to see him getting fired on his day off. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get detention on his and when he's not even in school. How you get this? How you get expelled and you're not even in school in class? Oh shit! Y'all yeah, he's like, how? I'm not even enrolled. Wait a minute. Yeah. You don't even go here. <laughs> what would All it right, take? Man. Y'all? What would it take? What would AI have to do for y'all to fully be like, hey, I'm off AI? <laughs> I mean, I'm off of it already. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't own it. It's just, it's use, here. Use, use their teeth, huh? <laughs> Bro, I just want you to know that was brilliant. I'm, I'm <laughs> like, that was, I, I'm mad that you used it for Zoom because <laughs> that should have been shot in quality so you yeah. could repost it. Yeah. Because that yeah. was great. That was, well, then you got the option to, to make this a sound bite. I probably am. There's a lot of sound. No bites. pun intended. That's a great sound bite. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. Because you think I'm not going to use the AOK again? I'm definitely using that. Like, that's not AI. That's AOK. I'm definitely, I'm bringing that back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and after that sound bite, you get a floppy dish. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm sorry. It's good. It's good. Man, take the glasses <laughs> off, man. You take, the glasses take the glasses off. The grow some hair. Take your gla- that got to be the funniest diss ever. Like, you don't even deserve to look smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's a definitely we fight after school shit. Like, yeah. uh, we're going to need, we're gonna need the, uh, yeah, the glasses, too. Yep. Yep. This, is, this is like my badge. What the fuck you say to me? Give me your goddamn glasses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said two plus two is four. Ah, Lack in my office right now, Lack. What was that 300 thing, Lack? Hey, Dion, you got to do it in the uh, your fire guy voice. Like, what? Fire? fire. Like, yeah. What? Glasses? Give me your glasses and your monocle. What? No, I got to have a backup. <laughs> Not the monocle, too. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give up the monocle as well. It's like, yo, y'all just don't want me to see at all, huh? You know how like the yeah. cops had like the little gun in her in her on her ankle? Yeah, it's like, it's like give me your badge, your gun, and the other gun. Oh shit. Ah, come on, come on, come on, Chief. <laughs> don't do me like this, Chief. I ain't like gonna see nothing. You don't deserve to see anything, you <laughs> sm- dumb, smart motherfucker. <laughs> Look, man, I don't get off till eight, man. I gotta drive home at night, man. I need to be able to see. <laughs> All right, man. Let's move into the final segment, man. It's uh it's our phantom fiction. Um Yay. at you know, well, you know, due to the writer's strike, we don't know what is happening with this film, but I thought it's something that we could still talk about. They are giving us another live action street fighter. They have uh, said they have found a director for the film and that it is still supposed to be all speeds ahead. Um, Again, this is before the writer's strike did begin, so that is subject to change. But for this episode, I decided that um, we wanted to figure out who would fit best to play the roles of some of the main characters. But... Due to the fact that this episode has been a lot about AI, we can literally just tell Brody to ask that AI, hey, <laughs> what actors and actresses should play these Street Fighter characters? And let's see what the fuck it comes up with. Yeah. Street Fighter 2. What actors should play 
the characters in the new Street Fighter film. Speaking of, why he, why is that looking up right now? I've always found it funny. Remember the arcade version, the little white dude and the black dude. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. And then he, the, the punch comes and he, and he punched him and it goes up to say Street Fighter. Why they never made them them two niggas a character? <laughs> I, was like, I want that nigga right there who knocked him out. <laughs> many you know what's funny? He looked like old boy from Streets of Rage. <laughs> they really did. I was like, I was, I was also curious. Like, why weren't they never brought? It was characters? the opening scene of Street Fighter Two. And, and they why, weren't included. Wasn't why even an option to parody pick. that yet. Like nobody <laughs> gave them a, a voice or anything yet. Nobody has done nothing with them. Yo, <laughs> this also needs to be clear. Hey man, make them characters in the new Street Fighter game when it comes and out. And it's like make 94 of them now. How yeah, people, have... people we don't need. Right. <laughs> and the people that should get it ain't getting it. It's but taking a long time. Like... I don't know why. It's all right. Um, Are y'all excited for a Street Fighter live action? You, you know what bothers me? So, so this is my unpopular opinion when it comes to tournament, 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 tournament uh, <laughs> movies. That's what you was trying to do. Glasses. It's the right. it's the writer strike, right. bro. Right. He didn't have his writers. Right. Tournament. I, <laughs> I I've been black in, in my office. <laughs> How, how tournament knock your ass out like yeah, that? I don't yeah. know. I was like, is it two syllables or three syllables? So, like, are you trying to say it? English teachers around the world about you right now. <laughs> are you trying to do the British version tournament? Like, yeah, sure. There? There we go. That's it's like in, in before M, M except after men. <laughs> so what was you saying, bro? <laughs> anyway. Uh, my unpopular opinion as I enjoyed the, the, the latest Mortal Kombat movie. I because didn't. I, I knew they were creating a universe. So everybody was upset like, man, they ain't even fighting the tournament. So I was like, dude, they're creating a, it's going to be a, so much more characters coming in. So let them get to that coup de gras. Let them get to that end game. So, right. so I appreciated it. So, so I, I know it's hard because like, hey, I want to see this person fight this person. So it was like, let Let's let's have a little mini fights to kind of like plant a seed here and there. And I was like, it's really hard to create a story when there's so many characters. I'm sorry, I got a question. Someone didn't like the last Street Fighter. I mean, Mortal really? Kombat game that came Young out. Young Deuces. No, the movie. Oh, the you're movie. Wild. That the movie was fire. I love it. That movie was fucking I didn't like fire. The main character. Don't give me a new character in a movie. I don't give a fuck. Hey, don't nobody give a fuck about him. He Look, was us. We- yeah, no, don't we nobody not. care about. Him. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so hold on. Just think of he like was this. a fish out of water. Take take him out. I didn't need it. Were you not satisfied with Sub Zero's performance? I was. Were you not satisfied with Jax's performance? I was. No, so that's the thing. Was but the main hold on, hold on. Character- hold on. just just take that out though, and, and remember what Dion saying in building a world because that new one don't have to be around him. The people that we know. Can you not say that they were on par with but the video game? But that was the story of the movie. That's why. That's my issue. Every it was though. Was good. His story was the story of the movie, and I hated it. I hated everything. Hey, nobody, I, what, I didn't like the character. Hey, nobody, I didn't like the design. I didn't like the actor. He, I didn't like his face. I didn't like his voice. I didn't like his face. I, I like nothing. Person. Okay, that I got man. the results now. If you guys want to hear, they just came in. That um, man is a young Keanu so Reeves. Ryu he is a uh, Louis Tan or Henry Golding. Chun Li as a uh, Zhang Zi or Jamie Chung. Ken as Chris Hemsworth or Garrett Hedlund. Guile <laughs> as John Cena or Dave Batista. Akuma <laughs> as Ko Uwais or Donnie Yen. And Bison as Mark Strong or Giancarlo Esposito. Oh, Vega as Diego Luna or Oscar Isaac. Sagat as Jason Momoa or John Manginiello. Uh, Cammy as Amelia Clark oh, or Jamie Giro. Alexander. And Blanca, ooh, Blanca as Terry Cruz or Dave Batista. Dave Batista is gonna be in that motherfucker. Yeah. Dave Batista is gonna be in there. Yeah, He's I can see him there. as Blanca. I can see him as Blanca, but I want Dave Batista to talk too. Damn, I want Dave Batista to talk. He can talk just like uh, Drax. Yeah, but Blanca. Nah, but did Blanca talk? Nah, not really. Hey, hey, he can be like that. That Incredible Hulk talk. No, but even even in the cartoon, the animated movies they came out with, didn't he talk? Which was fire. That shit was so yeah, fire. Yeah, they were fire. But I believe he talked in those. Yo, Chun Li and that Vega, that Vega and Chun Li fight scene, bro. 
Oh, that, now, yeah, that was, that was <laughs> we all watched that scene. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's wild? What we forgot about was remember Street Fighter, the Chun Li story. Yeah, no, we didn't forget. We we chose to forget. We chose to. We chose to. We chose to not bring, bring it, it up. up. Either. They they really right. tried to have like a whole little world. Like we're gonna do individual people. And I was like, they was like, yeah, that, that didn't work out. See, I was we're, here. We're stop right here. When they announced it, I was here for it. When they with what they gave us, I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah. It because wasn't time yet. It wasn't though. time yet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't okay. time yet. It was like, hey, y'all yo, fucked with the one with John Cloud Mandel? That's my shit. I don't care what nobody's saying. As a, as, as a, for nostalgic purpose at that time, I was okay with it. Going back to it, I would never go back to it. Yeah. Man, you wilding. You wilding. You wilding. You know that thing on at 2 o'clock and you ain't got nothing to do. You watch it. <laughs> Chill out. Stop acting like you do here. You will definitely watch that shit if it was. I on. haven't said. I haven't yet. Good morning. I didn't like Adam's Shadow family. Like, yo, come on. I didn't like Adam's family as uh, M Bison. I thought he was yeah. good as M Bison. Actually, I ain't gonna hold you. I it wanted was, him yeah. bigger. I wanted him yeah. like. I okay, him he didn't maybe. look like M Bison, <laughs> but as far as like how I the pet like how I uh, how I expect M Bison to act. Like I thought he acted as M Bison as well. I agree. Look wise, he, he wasn't as like you expected him to be like 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 Mega Shredder in tur uh, Turtles with the Ooze. You expect him to be that big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I liked his acting as M like in that in that Street Fighter movie, M Bison probably was the best person of that movie. Yeah, he was. That was yeah. my answer. But um we definitely, we definitely uh, want to know what our people think that is watching this video. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I was just like, yeah, you know what? Let's yeah, I definitely do. Yeah, <laughs> I like just don't do it, Brody. Don't make the face. Yes, we caught it. <laughs> but man, we need, to, we want us, we want to know from y'all who do you think should be cast in the new live action Street Fighter. Uh, game in the comments. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure y'all let us know. This has been another great episode of Stride of a Comic Book. I want to thank my guests for coming through. Um, you know, this is a long edition because we've been going a little bit, so we wanted to just come back and do some stuff, man. So make sure that you support our folks here, Young Deuces, Dion Lack, and Brandon Brody. Yeah. The information will be in the comments below, and we will catch y'all next time, man. Good to yeah. be back. Peace. Yes, sir.